guys, I'm Jelly Jelly Book Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the series I want to finish but haven't finished yet. The first series I'm going to be talking about is actually a trilogy and that's the Fire and Thorns trilogy by Ray Carson. I'm actually currently reading Crown of Embers, which is the second book. I am making good progress through it, but this series is about a girl called Elisa who has a godstone in her navel. We don't really know what the godstone does, but we only know she's the only bearer that's still alive. She gets married off to a king and then she gets kidnapped from ends up leading a rebellion. The only books I still have to read in the series are the rest of the second book and the third book and then I'm finished with this series. I actually forgot how much I liked the first book. When I started the second book I was like I'm not really looking forward to this anymore but I started reading it and I was, I was pleasantly surprised by how much I actually enjoyed it. The Aristotle and Dante is going to the Secrets of the Universe duology. The second book that will be other summers will be coming out in 2017 and then it will be a duology but obviously the book is not out yet. I I'm really looking forward to it. Aristotle and Dante's Code Secrets of the Universe is about two boys, Aristotle and Dante. They don't really have any other friends, but they develop a friendship with each other. It's basically about their relationship. It's written in a really poetic writing style, and that is what's so amazing and so special about Benjamin Ali Sands. He's also one of my favorite authors, so obviously I want to read the whole duology. The next series I want to finish is the Hurricane Creek trilogy by Joelle Knox. I've only read the first book in this trilogy, and I was... Mm, it was okay. It was just the side characters in the first book were so compelling and the second book is about those side characters that I really liked so I want to continue with the series. But I don't- I will see if I like the writing style because in the first book it was mostly focused on sex and a lot of tragedy and no really fun things so I didn't really see the chemistry between the two main characters so that was kind of a problem for me so I will see what I think of the second book when I read it and then I will determine if I want to finish the whole trilogy. The next duology I want to read is the Wendy Darling duology by Colleen Oakes. The second book is coming out in September of this year and it's going to be called Seas. I really love the first book. I honestly think the first book of this series should have been the original Peter Pan story because I really didn't like Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, the original tale. But this retelling was so poignant and I honestly thought it was so much better and it was everything I expected from Peter Pan. So. The story was kind of wrapped up in the first book, so I don't really know how Colleen Oakes is going to continue on with the story in the second book of this duology, but I guess we will see. I am excited for it. The next series is the Off Campus series by Al Kennedy. I've only read the first book, which was The Deal so far, and I actually really liked that. It was everything I wanted from a new adult book. So I'm set to continue on with the series. The second book is The Mistake, and I'm really excited for it because it's about one of the male main character's friends, and I really liked him. But I don't know how many books in this series are going to be, at least um, there is a fourth book set to come out this late this year, So, but there isn't any other information, so I don't know if this series is going to continue on after the fourth book, but we will see. The off-campus series follows hockey players and their love interests. Another series I'm really keen on reading on with is the Scarlet series by AC Gauguin. This is a retelling of the Robin Hood tale, it's a trilogy. And I have only read the first book, Scarlet, but I'm set on reading Lady Thief this month in August. And I will see what I think of it then. I really enjoyed the first book and the first book set up a really cool premise for a story. And I want to see how this love triangle that was set up in the first book is going to play out. The next series is a series of four books. It's the Velvet Jean series by Jennifer Niven. It is her historical fiction series about a girl called Velvet Jean who does a lot of things. In the first book she learns to drive, in the second book she learns how to fly, and I'm on the third book right now which is called Becoming Clementine, and I don't really know what's going to play out in that one because the, literally the first book was called Velvet Jean Learns to Drive and the second book, book was called Velvet Jean Learns to Fly, so I don't really know what Becoming Clementine stands for, but I am excited to continue on with this tale and finish this series because I'm really enjoying it. And a really popular series, The Raven Psycho and Maggie Steve Otter. I'm currently on the third book, Blue Lily Lily Blue. I really enjoyed the first two books, The Raven Boys and The Dream Thieves. And I know what's going to happen in the fourth book. At least I think so because a lot of people have said that what is being predicted in the first book is going to come true in the fourth book. And I am so not ready for that. But I also really am. Then the Falling Kingdoms series by Morgan Rhodes. I have read the first book Falling Kingdoms and I am going to read the second book Rebel Spring this month. I honestly don't know if I want to continue with the series because I quite dislike the first book because of the characters. 
Um, I want to give the second book a chance though and I am going to read because I have heard people raving about it and I just wanted to find out what people are actually raving about and I don't want to judge only on the first book. So I'm going to read the second book and see what I think of it after that but this is a six book series so it's quite a big time investment so I will have to determine if I want to do that or not. The Luck series by Anna Gottberson is a four book series. It is historical fiction about girls in pretty dresses and it follows all kinds of characters in late 1800s beginning 19 hundreds and I am currently on the third book called Envy so I only have two more books to go it is really a guilty pleasure series and it's not really great writing not great literature at all but I am kind of enjoying all of the drama that takes place in it the winners trilogy by Marie Witkowski name of the series obviously already says what amount of books there is in this series a trilogy and I have only read the first book The Winner's Curse last month and I really enjoyed it so I want to continue on The Winner's Crime and I am really excited to see how everything will play out after what happened at the ending of the first book. The Winner's Curse is about a girl called Gestrel who is the daughter of a military general and she buys a slave at an auction and they fall in love and there is a war a brewing and a lot of shenanigans ensue. The Young Elites by Marie Lu. I've only read the first book, again The Young Elites, I really enjoyed that. I've also read the first book in a Legend trilogy but I really didn't like that. I did enjoy The Young Elites more so I want to continue on with that series and see if I actually like her books but I was quite devastated after the first book because there was a death in it and I really didn't expect it. Uh, I am really intrigued by the main character, Alina, because she's getting darker and darker throughout the series. And I really like a kind of anti-hero, villainous kind of main character. So I will see how that will play out in The Rose Society, which is the second book in this trilogy. The next series is The Chaos Walking Trilogy of Patrick Ness. I have only read the first book, The Knife of Never Letting Go, but I am going to read the Ask and the Answer this month. I was kind of neutral towards the first book. I didn't really like it. I didn't like the way it was written, the characters speak phonetically, it was kind of slow paced, I didn't like everything that was happening, there was a lot of animal cruelty in it, so I want to give the second book a chance because I really like the rest of us just live here by Patrick Ness and I want to read his books, so I will see what I think of the second book. The Soldier Girl Duology by Michael Grant, the second book is set to come out in 2017 and I am so excited for it, it has the most beautiful cover ever also by the way. And I really liked the first book. I haven't read anything by Michael Grant before this, and I was pleasantly surprised. The Soldier Girl series follows three characters, all from different ethnicities, and they all have different roles in the military, and it follows them. One is at the forefront, one is a medic, and one is an intelligence within the military, and they all meet each other, but they don't. their stories don't really intertwine. But I am excited to see how everything will work up to a climax in the second book. The Mistborn series by Brendan Sanderson. I've only read the first book, The Final Empire, so I have to read the rest. other two books in this first part so the first story is a, is a trilogy and it gets wrapped up in the last book but it's not the last book in the series if that makes sense I enjoyed the first book like some plot twist happened that I didn't see coming and it was and something happened that I was really heartbroken about and I want to see where the story goes after everything happened that that happened and I really like the love story between Vin and Ellen in the first book and I no, a lot of people didn't like that, but I really liked them together. Gemini, the second book in the Illuminate Files trilogy by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Illuminate was one of my favorite books of the entire year so far, and I loved it. The first book was about Katie and Ezra and their love story, but they were on two separate sh airships, and honestly, it was so good. So many things happened that I didn't see coming, and all the characters were so developed and amazing, and I couldn't stop reading, I needed to know what was going on. The second book follows different main characters, but the side characters will be the characters from the first book. And I am so excited, I'm quite sad we're not going to follow the same characters anymore, but I'm also so excited to meet new characters because these two authors can really write. The Diviners by Libba Bray. At this point in time, there is four books set to come out, only two have come out right now and I have only read the first book which was The Divinus. The second book is called Layer of Dreams which I really want to read. I rated the first book four stars. I really enjoyed it. It was so much more creepy than young adult book normally is and I was 
pleasantly surprised by that and I can't wait to go on with the story because I really like the main character Evie who was so outspoken and so stubborn and kind of rude at times but I liked it about her because she was a really different main character and then lastly we have A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas again I have only read the first book but I am going to read A Court of Mist and Fury this month again and I didn't like the first book I didn't like the love interest Tamlin but I've heard people raving about the second book I've heard you and I'm going to read it this month and I hope I will be raving like everybody else since the series is going to have six books that has been recently announced and two novellas I am quite curious as to what is going to happen in the second book and if I want to continue with the series because Sarah J Maas writes some damn long series, not gonna lie. So these were all the series I haven't finished yet but want to finish at this point in time. What series do you want to finish? Have you finished any of the series I just mentioned? Let me know down below what you thought about them. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!